Polanco, with its elegant boutiques, renowned restaurants, and modern museums.
along with the growing tourism.
Since the 1960s, the city has been a popular destination.
local town, reaching 1,148 feet in height. Its reputation for possessing energetic properties attracts numerous visitors, especially during the spring equinox. The Church of San Sebastián, built in the 17th century, is one of the town's most notable historic buildings. Number 79, Puebla de Zaragoza, Puebla. Founded in 1531, it is the fourth largest city in Mexico, with a historic center dotted with architectural gems from the colonial era. An example is the Chapel of the Rosary, part of the Temple of Santo Domingo, a masterpiece of Mexican Baroque art. There is also the Puebla Cathedral, a grandiose Renaissance-style building housing one of the largest bells in America. Number 80, Morelia, Michoacán. The historic center of Morelia is a parade of colonial structures. Its cobblestone streets lined with hundreds of historic buildings constructed from pink stone. The Morelia Cathedral, with its Baroque towers, is the heart of the city and a popular backdrop for local festivities. Number 81, Oaxaca de Juarez, Oaxaca. Many of the colonial buildings in this city have been constructed from green volcanic rock. The Zocalo, or central square of Oaxaca City, is a bustling hub of activity where musicians and dancers mingle with street vendors and tourists. A short distance away is the Santo Domingo Temple, a magnificent church and former monastery where the Oaxacan Cultures Museum is located, a must-see for any visitor. Number 82, Isamal, Yucatan. Nicknamed the City of Three Cultures due to its pre-Columbian, colonial, and contemporary influences. Or the Yellow City, because its houses were painted yellow during the visit of Pope John Paul II in 1993. The former convent of San Antonio de Padua in Isamal is the monastic building with the largest closed atrium in the world, second only to the Vatican. Among the pre-Hispanic archaeological structures of this city, the Quinich Cacmo Pyramid stands out as one of the largest in Mexico. Number 83, Eyipantla Falls, Veracruz. The Nahuatl word Eyipantla means jump of three streams. During the rainy season, when the river increases its flow, it runs with three separate currents that merge into a frothy curtain of water. With a waterfall drop of over 164 feet high and 131 feet wide, it is one of the largest waterfalls in Mexico and was a location for filming the movie Apocalypto. Number 84, Guachimontones, Jalisco. With a unique circular architecture uncommon in Mesoamerican constructions, this pre-Hispanic complex stands out for its originality. Belonging to the lesser-known Teuchitlan culture, its structures and design offer a glimpse into a unique and innovative architectural tradition. In this place, the main monuments are the tiered concentric circles called guachimontones, which have tall poles at their center, believed to have been used in rituals and ceremonies, including the pole flying dance. Number 85, Tepozatlan, Morelos. Surrounding this magical town is the El Tepozteco National Park, a protected area that draws attention for its prominent mountain known as Tepozteco. At the top of this hill, one can admire the remnants of an ancient temple, a sanctuary dedicated to Tepoztecat, the Mexica deity associated with pulque, fertility, and harvests. In the town, the 16th century Temple of the Holy Trinity is a highlight. Number 86, El Tajin, Veracruz. Once a large city of the Totonac people, it was an important center of exchange and commerce whose influence extended throughout Mesoamerica. The city was abandoned in the 15th century, but its ruins remain a testimony to its ancient glory. This archaeological site has a unique architecture characterized by the use of intricate reliefs and sculptures. The most famous building is the Pyramid of the Niches, 
a stepped structure 72 feet high with 365 niches on its facade. Number 87, Kan Lum Lagoon, Quintana Roo. This is a freshwater lagoon south of Tulum, more visited by locals than tourists. The central circle is a deep cenote in which swimming is not permitted due to its depth and lack of visibility. But in the shallow waters around it, one can swim and enjoy the water. Number 88, Calakmul Campeche. One of the largest discovered Mayan cities, it is located in the Calakmul Biosphere Reserve, a tropical jungle region home to hundreds of species of animals and plants. Calakmul economically rivaled the city of Tikal in Guatemala. It functioned as a significant trade center with a large population. The most famous structure at this archaeological site is a large pyramid over 148 feet high, although there are also temples, palaces, and ball courts. Number 89, Puerto Morelos and Mesoamerican Reef, Quintana Roo. The Mesoamerican Reef can also be seen from Isla Mujeres, Punta Cancun, Cozumel, and the beaches of Tulum. Though one of the less crowded places is Puerto Morelos, a small fishing village where it is possible to hire boats for snorkeling and see a large number of marine species, such as stingrays, sea turtles, parrotfish, pufferfish, among many other species. Sonoran Desert, Baja California and Sonora. Considered one of the world's hottest and most biodiverse regions regarding desert flora and fauna, it spans parts of the Mexican states of Sonora and Baja California, extending into the U.S. states of Arizona and California. At first glance, this desert may seem arid and inhospitable. However, if one looks more closely, they will discover an incredibly resilient ecosystem. Here live rattlesnakes, coyotes, tarantulas, the golden eagle, and the saguaro cactus. Number 91, Monterey Peaks National Park, Nuevo Leon. Located within the Sierra Madre Oriental mountain range, we find this national park, brimming with pine and oak forests, as well as grasslands. It's a natural habitat for black bears, coyotes, bobcats, and white-tailed deer. The park boasts the highest peak of the Sierra Madre Oriental, the Saddle Mountain, standing at 5,971 feet high. The iconic mountain range dominates Monterey's landscape. Its unmistakable saddleback profile has become a symbol of pride and reference for the city's inhabitants, even becoming an emblem of Monterey's coat of arms. Number 92, Sempoala Lagoons National Park, Morelos and Mexico State. These are seven lagoons formed by springs and rain, surrounded by oyamel, pine, and oak forests. Today, more than half of the lagoons are well preserved, while some only reappear or fill with water during the rainy season. The park is notable for its aquatic biodiversity. Its lagoons are home to endangered species of fish and amphibians. Number 93. San Benedicto Island, Colima. Part of the Revillagigedo Archipelago, this island lies in the Pacific Ocean. It's a volcanic island characterized by its moon-like landscape and its active volcano, the Barcina volcano, which last erupted in 1953. This eruption, one of the most notable of the 20th century, transformed the island's topography. Nowadays, visitors can explore the fascinating volcanic remnants and the dramatic landscape left behind. Number 94, Cabo Pulmo National Park, Baja California Sur. Known for harboring one of the oldest and largest coral reefs on the west coast of North America. Estimated to be around 20,000 years old, this reef is home to a multitude of marine species.
Number 95. Cancun Beaches, Quintana Roo. Radiant with sun and sprinkled with sand, this city has become an internationally renowned tourist destination. With paradise-like white sandy beaches and an eternal festive atmosphere. People from all over the world visit Cancun's hotel zone for honeymoons, summer trips, or graduation celebrations. This seven-shaped peninsula is filled with shopping centers, bars, renowned restaurants, and nightclubs. It's recommended to rest in its many all-inclusive hotels. Number 96, Puerto Vallarta, Jalisco. This coastal retreat has earned a place in the global tourist scene thanks to its location between the sea and the Sierra Madre Occidental Mountains. The beating heart of Puerto Vallarta is its malecón, a beachside walkway filled with artistic statues, street vendors, and restaurants. Number 97, Chico Veracruz. Nearby coffee plantations, which produce some of the region's best beans, add to this city's lush green landscapes. Walking through its cobblestone streets, one is greeted by colorful houses adorned with flowers and the gentle aroma of vanilla floating in the air. Chico is famous for producing this aromatic spice. It is also known for its lively annual festivals, with the Santa Maria Magdalena Fiesta standing out in July. During this time, the city is filled with color and joy, with traditional parades and dance performances. Number 98, Sayulita, Nayarit. This town has developed a local art and surf scene, along with a bohemian and tranquil atmosphere. The heart of Sayulita is in its main square, where locals and tourists mingle to enjoy live music, festivals, and other community activities. The surrounding areas are filled with jungle, allowing for trail exploration, bird watching, and outdoor adventures. Number 99, San Luis Atexcac Lagoon, Puebla. Originating over 10,000 years ago from volcanic activity and located in the Libres Valley, the eruptions left a crater, which over time filled with water, creating the lagoon we see today. Number 100, Acapulco de Juarez Guerrero. Brimming with life and culture, this West Coast Mexican port city stands out as one of the country's most visited tourist destinations. In addition to its beaches, the most striking place is La Quebrada, a 115 feet high cliff where brave divers perform breathtaking sea jumps. This spectacle, dating back to the 1930s, has become one of the city's most recognizable symbols. Icacos Beach is the largest and most known in Acapulco. For a more serene experience, Bie de la Cuesta Beach, a few miles from the city, is an ideal place to enjoy spectacular sunsets. Number 101, Cave of Swallows, San Luis Potosí. Emerging from the depths is this vertigo-inducing abyss, ranked as one of the deepest caves on the planet. It's a massive natural pit, whose formation is attributed to the constant water erosion over millions of years. Its name comes from the birds that inhabit the place, which are actually white-collared swifts and not swallows. At dawn and dusk, a spectacle of nature occurs. Thousands of white-collared swifts spiral out from the depth of the cave in search of food, creating a fascinating whirlwind of birds. At night, these birds return to their underground home in an inverse whirlwind. Number 102, it's Na Archaeological Zone, Campeche. Emerging as a prominent political, economic, and ceremonial hub, it's Na played a crucial role in the Mayan civilization. Its crowning jewel is the Five Floors Pyramid, an impressive structure distinguished by multiple terraces. 
Additionally, its Na boasts a collection of remarkably preserved edifices, including squares, temples, a ball game court, and an intricate network of canals and water reservoirs. These architectural marvels showcase the extraordinary hydraulic engineering prowess of the Mayan people. Number 103, Coral Island, Nayarit. Located off the coast of Guayabitos, it's a small island surrounded by coral with crystal clear waters, accessible only by boat. Due to its small size, it can get crowded. So, it is recommended to arrive early. Number 104, Mayapan, Yucatan. The last great capital of the Mayan civilization during the post-classical period, its prominent remaining structure is the Kukulkan Castle, standing 59 feet high and considered a smaller replica of the Chichen Itza Castle. Number 105, Zihuatanejo Guerrero. Often simply known as Zihua, this charming town is a hidden gem for both fishing enthusiasts and tourists, offering an authentic Mexican flavor thanks to its distance from more popular destinations. Zihuatanejo's beaches are simply stunning. La Ropa Beach, Las Gatas Beach, and Madera Beach are some of the most beautiful to visit. Number 106, Mexcaltitan, Nayarit. Also called the Mexican Venice, this small island and magical town is situated on the Riviera Nayarit. It's a very small island spanning 131 feet from north to south and 1,181 feet wide and can only be reached by boat across the Mexcaltitan Lagoon. Number 107, Cacahuamilpa Caves National Park, Guerrero. Recognized as one of the world's most extensive cave systems, this site presents an astonishing underground spectacle with stalactites and stalagmites that have been molded over millions of years. Through the cracks in the cave's ceiling, daylight seeps in, creating natural lighting effects. Number 108, Tolantongo Caves, Hidalgo. This is a resort complex with caves, thermal rivers, and warm tunnels, all fed by water springing from the inside of the mountains. The park has a turquoise blue thermal river, whose waters maintain a constant warm temperature throughout the year. In addition, there is a series of thermal pools on natural terraces, each maintaining its own temperature. Number 109, Expujil Campeche. The archeological site of Expujil stands out for its main structure known as the tower, a three-story building that resembles a castle. Its name comes from a plant once common in the area called cat's tail. Number 110, Becan Campeche. These Maya city ruins are notable for the system of moats and walls, which once served as a defense against enemy invasions. It includes plazas, temples, palaces, and a large 105 feet high pyramid known as Structure 9, the highest in the city. So concludes our visual journey through the wonders of Mexico a land as diverse as it is beautiful. Until next time, when we explore more hidden treasures of this precious country.